If you're into photography, do it with passion or don't do it at all. I know that's bold. It's one of those things where it's easy to say and hard to do. The thing is, is I can tell you from experience that many years I put photography on the back burner. And it's not because I didn't love photography. I let life dictate how my journey was going to be. Now, if you aren't passionate about something, days go by, weeks go by, months go by, and then years go by. And like I said, I experienced this myself. I have been way too concerned with every other issue that I did not focus on photography. If it's just your hobby, do it at your leisure. But if you truly, truly would like to make this a career, you gotta do it with passion, vigor. You gotta go out and seize the day because nobody, and I repeat this, nobody is going to do it for you. In fact, most of the time people will discourage you nonchalantly. You know, it, it can be little things like, do you really need to bring all that gear with you? This might happen, that might happen. I mean, there's a million scenarios where people will unfortunately side with you not doing what you want to do, not doing your passion. I want to really, really inspire you guys to go out and shoot. Everybody that I know, or just about everybody I know, that is into photography puts it on the back burner. And I'm not trying to call anybody out. In fact, I'm trying to do just the opposite. And unfortunately, I think that a lot of times I discourage people. I think a lot of times I accidentally discourage people. And it's probably because of my passion. So, when I go out and shoot on a day-to-day -day basis, I choose what my subject's going to be, whether it be a person, place, or thing, an animal, a landscape, car, bus, truck, whatever. And once I make that decision, then I go out and shoot. What people don't see is that constant drive in the back of my head telling me, dude, you gotta get out there, you gotta go shoot these birds aren't going to have babies every single day. These dolphins aren't going to be jumping out of the water. Whatever it may be, the only thing that kept me going to go do those things is really that drive to capture something amazing. Inadvertently, I'll discourage people because I'll send all my friends, all my photography buddies, a bunch of my work. It's not every picture that I do. It's literally just a handful, but I'll get excited. And I want you guys to get excited too, but I'll get excited and I'll send a bunch of edited pictures after I had a day of shooting. And I think that may discourage some of my friends. It really is meant to do the exact opposite. It's really meant to get you to go and you know want to capture these things to get you to have that desire to capture that or that competitiveness, like, oh, I could do it better than Greg. And I hope that you can. That's the thing is, because if you send me pictures on a day-to-day -day basis, it'll give me the drive to go out and you know, hopefully <laughs> capture some better images that I did the day before. So the big thing here is, a big takeaway is literally don't get discouraged by the little things and don't get discouraged by the bigger things where people are discouraging you out of jealousy or uh, envy or embarrassment. Sometimes I've had my kids be embarrassed because I want to take a bunch of pictures. That's nothing that is your problem. What your problem is is that you need encouraged, not discouraged. 
And I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to get you, the people watching, to go out and shoot. All I can do is go out and make myself go out and shoot. And hopefully, hopefully have you guys retaliate by going out and shooting and doing it better than me. Because that will inspire me to go out and shoot and be better than I was before. Part of photography is the journey. Yes, when you get that banger picture, that keeper, that feels so good. It feels so amazing. But the journey to that destination is really what makes photography fun. A lot of times I go out and I miss the opportunities. I don't get the, the shots that I sought out to get. I do enjoy the process of going out and getting those photos. If I didn't enjoy that process, there would be no photos to be shown. I couldn't send my buddies across the world pictures that I've taken that I'm really proud of or that I'm looking for some constructive criticism. So a lot of people don't realize that sharing your photography, you should be open to creative and constructive criticism, not destructive. You have to know the difference of what constructive and destructive criticism is. And if people are giving you criticism, most of the time, if they're your friends, they're being constructive. Now you may wear your heart on your sleeve and it may upset you when they tell you, oh, I would do it this way or that way. Those are opinions. It doesn't mean it's the right way. But if you're open to hearing those opinions, you may grow as a photographer. If you're open to getting work sent to you and that gives you that passion to go, you're on the right track. If you get annoyed because you're seeing pictures in your feed or your friends are sending you pictures or just the inundation of photography through social media and everything else annoys you, you may not be passionate in the right way. And you may be setting yourself up for having your feelings hurt and then you'll have lack of passion then you won't go out and shoot and ultimately you won't get those shots and then later on in life when you see somebody else you will either say it must be nice dot fill in the blanks it must be nice that you have time to go do this or you must must be nice that you have the money that you could go do that, or it must be nice, fill in the blanks. Um, it is nice. And instead of saying it must be nice, why don't we figure out how it can happen to you? How can you go out and be motivated and be passionate about your craft? It's a hard journey being a photographer. It's one of those things that a lot of times people just won't get it. They won't understand why you love capturing things so much. But then at the same token, they'll say stuff like, you're so talented, or um, you have a gift, or something to that effect. They won't think of all the times that you went out and had to be out in the rain, or deal with unruly customers, or, or whatever it may be because they didn't see the passion that you put in. But you will know that. You'll know that you were passionate about photography, the journey to get those pictures, and your abilities will grow by going out and doing it. Now this is one of those things that I have to really emphasize. The only way you grow as a photographer, or probably any form of art or skill, is to go out and do. You know, like Yoda says, there is no try, there is only do. Something to that effect. Um, I, I think that's the thing. It's like, if you're out doing something, trying to do something, you're learning, you're growing, you're developing that talent that people say that you have. Let me express this very clearly. Talent is usually just hard work. So be passionate. Be passionate about what you want to be good at. And unfortunately, and this is the thing that's hard for me, 
you have to ignore comments like it must be nice or you're so talented or your camera takes really good pictures that one kills me my camera doesn't do anything it's just plastic metal and glass that's all it is it doesn't have a brain inside there so my camera doesn't take any pictures I use my camera to take pictures and that's the difference people tend to really oversimplify somebody's talent they want to give it to some mystical force oh man Michael Jordan is blessed by God they didn't remember that Michael Jordan had to practice 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 and practice they've never sat and watched him practice and here's the clincher speaking of practice can Michael Jordan at his age now do the things he could do when he was at the top of his game and the answer is no but it's probably not as simple as because he's old it's because he's no longer practicing so if you're not passionate about your craft your photography and if you're not out practicing you will no longer be talented in fact what happened to me is you won't even be a photographer for many years I had all the gear but no time to use it not because I couldn't make the time I just used an excuse that I didn't have the time so year by year people didn't even know I did photography I was letting the other things in my world kind of dictate what people thought of me you know running my businesses and being a family man and everything I kept my photography at bay if I would have kept doing photography all along and sharing that with others they would have known but I didn't I literally kept it at bay and I would every once in a while pull out my gear and take some stuff and my shots were okay they're just okay but if I would have kept doing it they would have been great they would have been better than great because I would have been practicing and practicing is the key and the only way you'll practice is if you're passionate about your skill or the skill that you're going to develop by practicing I'm going to tell you even though I can't stand it when people say it must be nice or your camera takes really good pictures or I wish I could afford gear like yours or you're so talented whatever it may be I'm going to just take that with a grain of salt because when I listen to those things it makes me not want to go out and shoot but what will make me want to shoot is setting goals for myself seeing other people's work and striving to have my work look not like theirs but inspired by theirs what I mean by that is I'm not going to copy my favorite photographer and do the exact same picture but I'm going to go wow I really like some of the angles they use I like the focal length that they used I like the lighting I like whatever it may be and I'm going to go and find something that drives me to get a picture that is as good as theirs or that will inspire others to feel like I did. I'm going to find that passion through competition. And no, I'm not competing with you, and I don't want you competing with me, but the competition of going out and getting the photos. That's what photographers don't understand. There is no competition except for with yourself and forcing yourself to go out and do make your photography priority number one and you'll find that you will be getting lots of practice and lots more of exposure and you will start competing with yourself more and more unfortunately what's going to happen is a lot of your friends that are shooting but maybe not as much as you will get burnt out by seeing all your stuff. Whether you're posting to Instagram or sending it straight to them, gonna be, get frustrated. And that's okay, that's their problem. 
Your problem is you need to keep yourself motivated. You need the passion. The passion's the key. If you don't have passion, there's no reason to do what you do. You might as well sell your gear. Because I could tell you, photography is not one of the cheapest things in the world as far as a hobby goes. Even if you're using kit lenses and, you know, older equipment, whatever it may be, it still costs quite a bit more than having a cell phone with a camera with a computer behind it that does most of the thinking for you. If you're not going to be passionate about photography, save money, sell your gear, and let somebody else be passionate. Now, I don't want that to be you. I'm going to just be straight up with you. I want you guys to go shoot, but be realistic with yourself. If you're frustrated because somebody else is out shooting, ask yourself, why are you not shooting? Go, how am I going to be able to do that? I can tell you, when I started thinking that way, my photography was leaps and bounds better. Not because instantly some switch went off and I had this magic touch, this blessing by God or this talent instilled into me, but I went out and I started practicing and that practice made me better. With every day I would look at the end results, I would look at the pictures after I edited them and I would pick them apart. I would literally try and figure out what's wrong with my pictures. Why do my pictures not look the same as some of the greats? I'm not saying that my pictures are there yet, but I'm getting closer. You will see the progress. The more you shoot, the more progress you will see. And the cool thing is, it's a fun journey. If you get to go out and capture moments in time, it's literally like having a time machine with you. You get to go back to those pictures and see what you did right, what you did wrong. You get to analyze everything. It's better than just having the memory because you have something tangible that you can show people, not just tell. You know that show and tell thing from when you were a kid? Well, it always still started with show. You had to show others what you're going to tell them about. If you just went to some place without your camera and then you told somebody the memory, they'll never picture what you're talking about. You could use the most descriptive stuff in the world and people are not going to get it. It's not going to be the same as if you show them something. Anyway, I just want you to know that you should do whatever your hobby is, and in this case we're talking photography, with passion. If you don't do whatever you love to do with passion, why are you doing it? Are you doing it to show off or this or that? Are you doing it because you feel forced? That's not passion. So do it with passion or don't do it at all. All right, guys. If you like this content, please hit the like button, subscribe, maybe make a comment. That would be amazing. I am a small creator trying to inspire others to do what I get to do every day, and that is shoot. Peace.